Hello everyone, Tom Elser with the BizDoc back with another quick stat with a quick question. And the quick question is, are dating apps tanking? Well, this is the season, in the middle of the season, we usually ask, you know, are baseball teams tanking so that they can trade star players and get draft picks? So we hear about tanking, but this is the other version of tanking. Are the dating apps that I'm using suddenly having issues or are they going away? Here's where the headlines are coming from. So, guess what? Are dating apps breaking up with success? Which success? Stock market success. First of all, we have the S&P 500 going over these last years, and here's the nice run that it's had at the beginning of 24. So here we have 2021 into 22, 22 into 23, 23 into 24, and here we go. So this is the stock market as a whole. Had a little bump up coming out of COVID, dropped down 22, 23, and now we're on a run again, most of it driven by NVIDIA and some other big tech stocks. So this is called a baseline. Let's compare the baseline of the S&P 500 to Match and Bumble. And this is Match.com and all the companies that are in it. They are right there together with each other, tracking with each other. Kind of like sector performance. The sector will rise and fall together based on what's happening in the overall market. So you've got this stuff happening. But guess what? Stock market performance is based on, pro on ba profitability, based on growth, and some investor enthusiasm based on the prospects of the company, based on what we think is happening in the sector, based on what CEOs are saying. So if you don't have growth, and you don't have uh, growth in revenue, and you don't have profitability, and you don't have some wild statements from the CEO legally delivered to the market so that analysts are following it, this is what happens. And take a look at this. That's off an awful lot. It's off, you know, you know, 80% or more since 22. What's driving that? Well, sometimes you could have a good company underneath, but you're less profitable, you're not growing, and that's going to hit your stock price. So let's go take a look. What is the story? Well, stock price isn't the whole story. So Match Group and Bumble, they generate Big revenues. Match Group, $3.4 billion. And Bumble, $1.1 billion. That's a lot of cash. However, but nearly half of all online daters expressed frustration with the services. 50% of the people that are paying these monthly fees to be part of a Match.com or Bumble don't like it or have some dissatisfaction or frustration. But more than half of the females Daters said their experiences have been negative. So not just frustration, negative. Women are saying it's negative. Uh-oh, th th that's not good. That'll affect the stock price when those surveys come out. And Bumble made some billboards trying to stimulate things, you know, do marketing. But the billboards ended up, you know, they, they were basically making a joke that's saying, hey, women, don't be celibate forever. You know, they're, you know, get into the dating scene. But the way they did it, some of these billboards really kind of pissed people off. If you saw them, you know what I mean. And then they simply started to do this. We've changed so you don't have to, one of the ads said. And this says, wait a minute, what the hell you've changed so I don't have to change? Why do I have to change in the first place? So it was further insult. So you basically have some things going on here behind the scenes where women are actually negative experience, half of them, Half of overall people have some frustration, a lot of bots and a lot of other things, and guess what? And then Bumble kind of fumbles, and people felt, specifically women with their ads, felt insulted. That's what you got. So that's what's going on with dating apps. There's a story behind the story. Thank you very much. I'm Tom Ellsworth, the BizDoc. See you next time with another quick stat.